Hey guys, it's Barry from Barry's Aquarium, and for today's video, I thought that I'd just give you an update on my five and a half gallon nano tank, which is behind me. I already did a video on this about two or three months ago, so if you haven't seen that video, I highly encourage you to go check it out. I'll leave a link for it in the description, but a lot has actually changed since that video. Um, the plants have grown in a lot. I've added fish. I've taken out fish. So overall, the tank has changed a lot. So let's go ahead and check out the tank. All right, so here's the tank. As you can see, it's really overgrown. The plants are doing really well. It looks like a little miniature jungle. The reason the plants are doing so well is because it's right by this window and I usually don't have the shades closed so it gets a lot of natural sunlight, which makes the plants grow quite a bit faster and it adds a lot of algae to the tank, which I don't like. So this is diatome algae. It grows mainly on the glass right here, especially on the back of the glass and on the sides, which I don't like, but it's super easy to get rid of. It comes off super easy. But the algae that I really hate is this um, green hair algae. It is a pain in my butt because whenever I try to remove it, it pulls up all of these plants because it tangles around it. It just gets everywhere and I end up pulling up plants and ruining the tank. So I really don't like that. But other than those algae issues, this tank's doing really well. One sad thing is that my betta fish that I had in here sadly did die. <laughs> But I did end up getting some Ember Tetras. There's one right there in the back. I got seven of these, but then five of them died. So I only have two, which isn't good at all because they're a schooling fish and they need at least six. So they're gonna be super shy and they're not gonna be coming out of their little hiding spots until I get some more. I'm just gonna have to live with two of these fish in this tank. This one's actually swimming quite a lot. Usually they're in the back. Um, there's the other one. So that's cool that they're coming out. This is the most I've seen them swim since the very first time I put them in the tank. So that's really cool. So hopefully when COVID-19 uh, goes away and settles down, I'll get some more of these and make a video of that. But I also added some Neo Caradina shrimp from my 20 gallon fish tank. When I was re-aquascaping it, I was moving the gravel around and I didn't really want to kill any of the shrimp. So I just moved them in here. Thought it'd be a really good idea. It was a good idea because they're all breeding now. I've spotted a few pregnant shrimp, which is super cool. And hopefully I'll have some super teeny tiny uh, shrimp in here. And hopefully these two uh, lonely ember tetras won't be able to eat them because they're gonna be hiding and scared. Hopefully those shrimp survive. They weren't doing too well in my 20 gallon aquarium because of all the rest of the fish were eating the little shrimp. I also just have some ram's horn snails and bladder snails in here. That's it for the livestock that I have in the tank. Not too much, but it's a nice little nano tank. It looks really amazing. It's definitely my favorite tank out of all of my tanks. I need to get in there and trim some of the plants. As you can see, I desperately desperately need to top off this aquarium and add some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim the plants and top it off, do a little water change. So I'll see you guys when all that's done. So here's the tank after I did a water change, filled it up all the way, trimmed a little bit of the plants. I even took out the old heater that wasn't working and it looks pretty much the same, but it was fun uh, doing some maintenance on this tank. The main thing that I did was just remove that uh, hair algae. I still missed a few spots, but you know, it. I'm probably never gonna get rid of it. So I might as well just live with it. So that's it for today's video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.